Hello and welcome to the first of this five-part video series from Leap. In these short videos, we'll be looking at the scripting capabilities of Ansys Discovery, how to learn and use the scripting tools available, as well as some common use cases where scripting can dramatically optimize traditionally manual workflows. We'll start with two quick examples of what scripting in Discovery is capable of. The first script is used to generate a geometric design as a result of various parametric user inputs. As these inputs change, the design is adjusted accordingly and automatically. The second script you now see works to create a named selection of coincident faces between a solid and fluid interface. It does this via a series of geometric calculations and can be incredibly useful for complex geometry preparation before being taken into fluid. Let's start by looking at how to start scripting in Discovery, as well as the tools available to help you get started. Here we have a blank Discovery window. To access the scripting menu, you'll go to the top left drop down option and select Script Editor. This will open up a new window within Discovery. From here, we'll take a look at the various tools available to work with the script editor. The script editor itself can be moved and resized within your display. Along the top, you've got various tools, many of which you'll be familiar with. On the left, we've got our Open, Save and Save As. We've then got an option to publish or embed a script. We then have a selection button. Now this selection button is particularly useful and is something we'll look at in various examples for how you can use this to learn scripting equivalents of otherwise manual selections within the GUI. You then have a record button, again a crucial tool and one that we'll be exploring in depth for how to learn how to write scripts. You've got a find and replace function and you've got the API version you're working with. You've then got an option to go to the external help and that you've then got various debugging features. If you're familiar with any other script editors or code editors, you'll have a step into, step over, and step out option, as well as a play button, and each script can be run in what's either called debug or run mode. You'll also have a console along the bottom where you can find various commands and execute them on the spot, and you can have both multiple consoles and multiple script windows open at once. Finally, you've got your console output where you'll see the various script commands executed as you call them. Discovery scripting is based off the Python coding language and has a very similar syntax and operation to any Python you might be familiar with. For more information on functions, parameters, and scripting within Discovery, you do have access to the API documentation. This can be found in your installation location for your Ansys software, then in your Discovery folder, and then in Discovery API version 21. Note that ANSYS 2022R2, which is what we're working with here, works by default with API v21, where API v22 is currently in beta. Within that folder, API v21, you'll find your API class library. And this contains all the information you might be familiar with if, if you've looked at an API before. So all of the functions, all of the members, all of the parameters, you can find all that information and navigate your way through the various methods available here. Now, whilst all of this may look quite daunting if you haven't done any scripting in Ansys software before, the features we're going to show you in the following videos, most notably the record function, are a really intuitive and easy to understand way to get into scripting and figure out what the equivalent scripting commands are for a series of instructions you would normally perform by hand in the GUI. The following four videos of this series will look at various scripting concepts within Discovery. We'll be showing you live coding examples as well as some potential use cases for the concepts we cover. Video two will look at creating basic geometry with the record button. This is a particularly useful tool for starting out in scripting in Discovery. Video three will look at how to parameterize this geometry so that we can adapt it with each run of the script. We'll look at how to do that in three ways within Discovery, through workbench parameters and within OptiSlang. Video four will look at how to create and manipulate named selections within Discovery. And video five will show an advanced scripting case where we create custom user inputs within our Discovery script. That's it for this video and we look forward to seeing you in video two where we'll be creating our first code with a live scripting example.